Hey y'all, my name is Chris J. Um, I write a website called StuffThemBusted.com that's all about food and drink culture and history in northern Louisiana. I live in Shreveport, which is where I'm uh, recording this right now in my kind of um, spare room slash home office. It's easy for me to write about restaurants and bars and breweries and farms around here because, I mean, it's my backyard so I can get out and explore and take photos. It's much harder for me, for example, to get to Monroe, West Monroe on a regular basis. So I was delighted to partner with the Monroe, West Monroe Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, to make it possible for Stuffed and Busted to spend a couple of days just eating my way through Monroe, West Monroe. Um, I want to point out that this is sponsored content. I'm going to say that right off the top, but at the same time, I'm not, I didn't write about anything that I didn't think was wonderful, and I'm not going to include anything that I genuinely didn't love in this video. Um, I also want to say that there's a reason why none of the kind of nice, high-end, locally sourced places that Monroe, West Monroe has cultivated are in this, um, in this coverage. Places like Parish or Warehouse Number One, they it would have been wonderful to include them. But I really wanted to pay my way everywhere I went. I wanted to be able to afford to tip. I wanted to be able to afford to uh, order anything I wanted. And I didn't want anything comped. And I didn't, I damn sure didn't want uh, to leave a restaurant right now in the like hardest time to work in a restaurant in history um, without leaving a, a, at least a 20% tip. So to be able to do that, I had to keep these restaurants um, really wallet friendly, kind of budget friendly, um, because I am balling on a budget. Um, so with no further ado, thank you again to, to uh, Monroe West Monroe. If you want to follow them on social media, they're on Instagram, Facebook, and elsewhere at Discover Monroe West Monroe. Um, and yeah, here, in no particular order, by the way, I do not want to get yelled at by um, Monroe citizens for my ranking of uh, roast beef and gravy po'boys. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're about to. Um, so yeah, no particular order. These are the best things I ate during two and Incredible days eating my way through Monroe, Monroe, West Monroe. Stuff that must be real. Stuff that must be. Your first stop next time you're in Monroe, if you love tamales, ought to be a little place called the Rolling Tamale. It's um, it's nothing fancy. It's a concession stand on the side of the road. It's a drive-through only, no dining room. But if you love tamales, listen up. They they do something I've really never seen anywhere, and I'm sure it's out there. I just haven't seen it. But they do deep fried tamales, which come out kind of tasting like um, like stuffed hot water cornbread, if you can imagine that. So hot water cornbread that's been stuffed with really good tamale filling, and they serve it with a cup of really good homemade white queso. It's incredible, actually. Like I was surprised after eating these that I don't see them all over the place. I had never had Nepalese cuisine before I visited the Himalayan Cafe in Monroe. It's located right by the ULM campus, the ULM campus, and it was just, it was, frankly, I, I don't know if I'll ever forget it. Um, the dumplings that they have there, Himalayan style dumplings called momos. So imagine if you took the flavors of Indian cuisine and put them into Chinese dumplings, soup dumplings, steamed dumplings, fried dumplings. Those are momos. And they have about seven or eight varieties of momo at Himalayan Cafe. And the experience with those was so good. I wish I would have just ordered all of them. I also had this enormous like Himalayan, like it was billed to me as a Himalayan, traditional Himalayan lunch platter. And it was delicious too, but I'm still thinking about those momos and I want to go back like right now and try the other six or seven varieties. Stuff that must be real. Stuff that must be. You know what's a big deal in Monroe, West Monroe? Roast beef po' boys with gravy. It's this whole thing. They're like stuffed shrimp are in Shreveport. Uh, dozens of places do it and they all are just a little bit different trying to put their own spin on it but the places that I enjoyed the most and I ate four different versions of the roast beef po' boy with a big cup of gravy and hand cut fries and they were all actually good but the ones that were just incredible for me were Ray's PG the original that place is where it all started a guy named Ray Pierce 
um, was shown how to make this really popular gravy by a woman named Annie Mae Gardner, and it was off to the races. Monroe, West Monroe people fell in love with uh, po' boys dipped in gravy around, I want to say 1960, and it's just been going since. I would recommend trying a roast beef po' boy with gravy and fries at a Ray's PG, uh, but also uh, at Magic Grill 2, which is the 18th Street location run by a gentleman named Michael Rodriguez. If you go, um, I would say try to save a little bit of room uh, for dessert and go to the Highway 165 location of Magic Grill. Um, just look it up on Google Maps or whatever. They make their own homemade ice cream in soft serve machines, but they use pet milk and all that stuff like your grandma used to do if you're kind of semi-redneck like I am. Um, really, 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 honestly, the best soft serve I've ever had. Stuff that must be Finally, if you happen to find yourself in Monroe at a time when you could possibly eat breakfast, you have got to go have a traditional Honduran breakfast at Alex Latin Restaurant and Cafeteria. The place was packed at 10 a.m. with folks eating these huge platters of what they described to me as a traditional Honduran breakfast, which amounts to like really tender skirt steak, um, scrambled eggs with lots of veggies, uh, black beans, um, a big chunk of queso fresco, some avocado slices and tortillas. It was one of the best meals I can remember eating. Um, this place is really, really special. Like so many places in Monroe, West Monroe, Alex Latin Restaurant and Cafeteria just completely exceeded my expectations, surprised me, gave me uh, a sense of wonder that I haven't had since before the pandemic. If you haven't um, explored Monroe, West Monroe recently, I would encourage you to do so. And uh, having said that, we're done. I want to say thank you again to the Monroe, West Monroe Convention and Visitors Bureau. If you want to follow them on social media, it's at Discover Monroe, West Monroe, and they use the hashtag DiscoverMWM. There's a lot of other um, stuff I have to say about these places, and you can find that at StuffThemBusted.com. Again, this is a Patreon-supported outlet, so uh, Grassroots Media, just kind of doing it myself. If you'd like to become a patron, please do. I'll, I'll leave the link to do so in the comments wherever this video is posted. Um, so thank you very much, and yeah, hopefully... Next time you see me, maybe I'll have upgraded my facilities, but probably not. Thanks, y'all.